We're in Microsoft Office 365. I'm going to show you how to upgrade a distribution list to be a group. So if we take a look at our email, and I've created some Office 365 groups in previous emails. And you can see they show up sort of like a public folder does to whoever has access to it. It'll show up in their uh, Office 365 web or Outlook program. Whereas a distribution list is just a list of, uh, of uh, members that will get an email sent to a specific email address. So in a previous video, we created a group called All Staff. And this distribution list group was basically just so we could send email to a bunch of users by just sending it to one person. And then we set, set up a test for that. And you can certainly watch that if you'd like. It's in the, uh, the list of videos in this playlist. But what if we wanted to take this distribution list and we wanted to upgrade it to be a group? So it not only shows up as an email in our inbox, but also shows up down here so we could see historical information and uh, information that uh, may have been created by other users. Well, we can do that in Office 365. And let's start by going to Office Home, where what we get when we first log in, and we click on the admin icon, assuming you are administ an administrator. When you click on the admin icon, it takes you to the Office Admin Center. And what we're going to do is go to the bottom left icon and choose Exchange from the Admin Center's list. Once we click on that, we get to this area that you see here. We're going to click on Recipients on the left-hand side, and then we're going to click on Groups at the top. So you'll be just in the same space. It'll look exactly like you see it here. Now we're going to upgrade. So you can see here the different group types that we have. We have a distribution group. We have a dynamic distribution group, which we talked about in another video. And we have a couple of Office 365 groups. So we have sales and accountants. These are the same groups that show up in our mailbox where you see groups of sales and accountants. Let's go back to groups. So now what we want to do is we want to take this all staff distribution group list and we want to upgrade it so it also shows up under our groups list in our email on the bottom left. So all we have to do is click on upgrade distribution groups and just click on get started. And it'll give you a list of any groups that may be eligible for this upgrade. And we see one group, of course, which is all staff. Go ahead and click on Start Upgrade. And a little box is going to pop up. It says, hey, your upgrade has started. It's going to take a few minutes. So just hang on. Now here's where it gets a little bit funny, and that is once it's done upgrading, then you're not going to really see that it's done. So you're not going to get the option to say, hey, this is all done. Go ahead and click OK. All it does is it says, that it's been upgraded and it tells you the date and the time it's been upgraded. So at this point, you can just click cancel or the X at the top. Now, when you refresh your screen, you're going to see the all staff group type has now been updated to Office 365 group. Now we go back to our email where we refresh again and we can see that all staff has now been added to our list of groups and is ready to be used as a group. So that is how you upgrade a distribution group into a, an Office 365 group in Microsoft Office 365.